estimate that roughly 2.19 million people can now get a booster shot as well. And here at Hope Pharmacy, the owner says it was busy as, as it was expected to be as they've given out over 20 shots today and all but two of them being for people coming here to get their booster shots. Now, the decision made last night allows for people to get booster shots if they are six months out from their two dose Moderna shot. If they're over 65 or over 18 and either work or live in a high risk environment or have underlying health conditions, well, anyone who got that single dose Johnson and Johnson vaccine can get a booster shot two months after they got the first shot. Now, as for mixing, this allows people to do make a decision based on numerous factors that they could look at, like potential rare side effects for the vaccines in certain age groups, like myocarditis for younger men with the mRNA vaccines or blood clot issues in women under 50 with J&J. &J. Now, studies also showing that people who got the J&J &J vaccine saw a higher antibody response if they got the Pfizer vaccine and even more with Moderna. Now, the farm Pharmacy's owner says that when people come in and are unsure, she walks them through all of these steps and factors. As far as what the numbers look like, who's showing better or which vaccine is showing more coverage based on the environment that we're currently in. And so I give them the information. I don't sway them right to left um, so that they can make their own informed decision. And she says for the most part, it has been Moderna or Pfizer people coming in for that same brand. But she has had one person come in, do that J&J &J shot initially and got a Moderna today. 